Okay, now, <laughs> quick shift to something else. Three quarters of a million people already keep chickens. Straight from W1A to chickens. <laughs> <Yeah>. go, <laughs> at home, including, now we learnt this week, that Liverpool midfielder Joe Allen actually keeps chickens. He's got a certain amount of chickens and he's very thrilled about yes, it. Good Tony, I know you want to keep... Is this true? You want to keep chickens? Yeah, I mean, I love chickens. So I, do I. No, I I've always fancied one. OK. Because they're big. I know. They're the chickens. Huge. The chickens, yes. yes. Hello. We Hi. have... We Hello. have the Hi. woman that knows more about chickens than anybody else. Susie Baldwin, you've done DVDs on chickens, books on chickens, you own chickens, you love chickens, and they roam them. freely around. Susie, where do we start? Let's start with the chickens. If we want to own... Now, Tony said he'd love to. If we wanted to start owning chickens, where do we start? The best ones to start with? Um, most people go for the hybrids. Um, they're very hardy, easy to look after and lay you lots of eggs. About 280 to 300 eggs a year. A oh, I thought wow. you said a day. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot. OK. So that's not good. A <laughs> that's a lot of eggs. So would you be yeah. wanting a chicken for the eggs? Yeah, kind of, and also for the kids, because uh, we've got sort of a wooded area at the back of where we live. We've got, you know, a couple of acres and stuff. And, and I just always kind of... My mate, uh, Phil Taylor's got some chickens, and they're literally like pets, and they just walk around mm. his property, and they're... They're incredible, and they lay eggs, and, and we get lots of... Because we live in the country, so we get lots of fresh eggs anyway. And it's just... I think it's a beautiful thing. I, I love... Obviously, I love chickens. They are my life. Um, I know so many people that keep chickens. Yeah. Not just for the eggs, because they're really relaxing. They, they just help yeah. you de-stress. They're just great. They're, they're your living garden. They're not great gardeners, but they bring your garden to life. Now, the thing yeah. about owning a chicken, can anybody... Cos we're, you know, they're all the cities we know about, yeah. the foxes and things... <clears throat> can anybody own a chicken, or do we have to have a certain amount of space in our garden? As much space as you can give them. Right. They are so much happier. Remember, these chickens love to flap their wings and run around, the same as us. We all have funny yeah. five minutes. They have to be able to have their funny five minutes. I wouldn't keep this size chicken in this size run. Right, this, this is but, just for TV is, purposes, yeah, we've yeah. got them in this floor yeah. now. <laughs> don't, don't, I, don't panic. No. I'm very much... They have to exhibit their natural behaviours and be happy, the yeah. same as we do. Animals have the same rights, you know, let them roam free. So but you what? have got the fox to bear in mind. See, that's, that's my the worry. problem. You it, have is to that have a constant...? Problem. I mean, everyone tells... I mean, I've got friends who... You know, you have to put them in at night, don't you? You have yes. to put them in a pen, because that's when the Mr Fox... Bad Fox comes out. But he's around during the day now as well. Oh, it's, really? You know, it's cub season at the moment, so yeah. he's really active this yeah. time I mean, of year. Because they just, they just destroy things for the sake of... Yeah, just for the, the fun of it, it's not even for the food. The, it's what they do, isn't it? Right, yeah. so let's talk about where to keep them. So, as we said, this this is one of the sort of runs that you can yeah. have, but you're saying these chickens are obviously too Huge. big. I would keep little bantams in them, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to hold? Yeah, yes. please, yeah. Come Fizz on, then. This is very good. Don't Fizz. do poo-poo on there me, we though, will you? Well... There we go. <laughs> I've there managed not to get nice one. Jake. There we are. That's a, that's a little There mate. we are. Oh, there. There. She's very... She, oh, as soon as you... That's there it. If you'll come and just hold your hand, she'll perch. She'll oh, perch yeah. on your hand. She'll perch on there. your hand. Oh, you're Look exciting at her. Now. She's so pretty. <laughs> right, so we're talking about this one. So you're saying oh, no. this is suitable for cities, this, this sort of run? Yeah, they're not as active as you can see. She's quite happy to be yeah, cuddled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this sort of run... <laughs> There we go. Let's put yeah. her there. There we go. There we Calm are. Right, OK. Calm there down. we are. Right. right, yes. Let's yeah. talk about this sort of run, please. Good girl, Fizz. For little ones, you know, Pekings, Poland, Saramas, perfect, but not the larger breeds. They need... You know, I would go walk in Avery if you've got well, the which space. One which one is this? Because that is huge. There's a Buff Orpington. They're, they're wow. your country living girls, aren't they, with the big bloomers? Big well, she's just got the best bum ever. Now, we've... <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, now, let's talk about this. This is the walk-in one that you're talking about. These are just great. You can actually get in there and get hands-on with your chickens. They're completely fox-proof. They're reasonably priced. They give them shade away from the sun and the rain and the elements. They're just great. So that's the one you would you'd They're absolutely They're the ones I recommend. would highly recommend. But what happens if you want to make your own? Because, of course, lots of people do that these Perfect. days. Perfect. And, you know, it's a great thing for the whole family to get out and do. As long as you're using solid wood, good wire, you don't want him chomping yeah. through really cheap Let's chicken have a look. wire. We, there's you know. a picture of you. That's actually your one, isn't it? Yeah, it's one, one we've done. Um, there's a little kickboard round the bottom just to stop the drafts coming through when it's windy if you've got little banties and a cover on the top. Lovely. And what? now let's talk eggs, please, if we may. Uh, you've yes. got a basket of eggs there. So you were saying that some uh, chickens will give you 280 eggs a year. Yeah, the white lagoons, the hybrid white lagoons, will give you up to 300. Wow. Huge eggs. And they're a little bird, really. They're a bit neurotic, 
but they're not nasty, you know, and, in our and world. In pain. <laughs> so, that, uh, and it, so if you want to have eggs and eat your eggs, lovely. But what happens if you want to sell them? Because you do see, when you go through the countryside, you see people saying, you know, free-range eggs for sale from our chickens in our back garden. Yeah. Are Which we allowed you, to? You are allowed to, yes. From your garden gate, you are allowed to sell your chicken eggs. You are not allowed to sell to restaurants, no. to the corner shop, anything like that. But from your garden gate, yes, you can. I mean, where now, I am... Sorry, m most people tend to give them away. I mean, you know, it's sort of... Because sort of, they get so many eggs, they're like, do you want a couple of boxes of eggs, eggs, you know? Yeah. Just, to, just so that someone else can enjoy them. I mean, I, my, one of my reasons as well is, is that I think it's great for the kids. Kids growing up in the country Lovely. to, you know, animals and... And it's where a, it's their a... food comes from. Yeah, it's so well, that... important yeah, to yeah. children to get the connection. Can I ask you about the eggs? Because my nine-year-old was saying, she said, how do you know that when you break an egg, there's not a chick in there? Because it does worry her, because, uh, of course, uh... kids, well, we're about to see the chicks in a moment. Mm. But that's not the case, is it? The ones it's that... not. Most, most commercial egg producers do not keep cockerels with their chickens. Um, even if you buy from somebody's garden gate, I keep cockerels with all my chickens, those eggs will be fertile, but there will be no development of the embryo until the mother has sat and heated that egg up and the development right. starts. So you're fine. You're not okay. going to crack open. Lovely. Let's have a look at the thing that everybody's been going a bit <laughs> gooey over. Sarah, look at these. Here you go. Kimberly, look. How old are these chicks? These hatched yesterday. <gasps> oh, did they? Yes, wow. these hatched yesterday. And listen, you love your chickens. This is fine what we're doing and, and handling them. You're saying that it's okay it's to handle. It's absolutely fine. These are the most pampered chickens ever. They, they had their rescue remedy in their water yesterday. They've had their <laughs> lavender spray. <laughs> and they're used to me. I've got four children and I've got customers in and out all the yeah. time. I encourage people to come and see the girls and be around them. You know, they're part of our lives. How is do we... It... If we had a chick, though, we, I mean, can we really go and buy a chick? Would it be OK? You can. But... If you're going to buy chickens, you need to go somewhere where somebody's going to offer you advice. I yeah. would never say, there's a chicken, there you go, thank you very much, there's your money. I'd be not quizzing you, yeah. but questioning you, mm. advising you, spending time with you, and making you sure that you can come back to me, whether it's six years down the line or ten weeks down. You know, How I'm always there. How long do chickens there. live for if, um, if you let them run around and be happy? Um, the hybrid's probably four to five years. Oh, oh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. Wow. Thank you. They're incredibly much independent longer. for one day old chicks. Oh, they love they're eating and drinking as soon as they come out. It, like, yeah, just... like us. Yeah, not like us. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much. What a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Mrs. Great to Chicken. Be here. You really are. Thank you very much. <laughs>